Macro trends, so the global economic headwinds and some of the uncertainty has created a little bit of softness in the advertising market, but we're, it's great to be in the APAC region because APAC has still got pretty healthy growth. So 2023, 4.6% growth, still a $240 billion marketplace. Um, China's a big part of that, and China had a slower start, you know, coming out of lockdown early in the year, but it's starting to pick up some positive trends August, September, starting to see a little bit of outbound travel coming into the national holiday. India is also a fascinating growth market market driven by some growth in talent, technology, innovation spend, and a lot of expansion of their media landscapes, a lot of growth spend in, in, in India. One of the key trends driving the advertising space right now is a push towards digital advertising. So more than 60% of the, the media investment and spend in APAC is on digital. And that's driven by programmatic buying, which is the automatic buying across the digital platforms, and um, things like social commerce, which is a, a big explosive kind of opportunity in APAC faster even than Europe and America's in terms of social channels creating content and transaction opportunities. Right. The, it's fair to say that it's a very different world now for the last 10 years, especially with yeah. the growing digitization, the shift towards digital revenues. How has this changed the way Denso Asia Pacific develops your marketing campaigns, your advertising strategies for your various clients in the region, especially as you try to at least find your footing or placing placement in this more increasingly digital world? Mm. Well, you know, we change to adapt to the needs of our clients. Now, the, the role of CMOs who are choosing how to in, uh, identify their customers, engage their customers, to take a customer through a brand relationship into a transaction, that's become more complicated. So we combine data and identity of customers in a privacy-driven world. We combine that with a creative experience. So it's very much become an experience economy. So creating experiences across platforms, whether that is a media platform like the video platforms, we're talking about here, the short video platforms like TikTok and YouTube, or commerce platforms as well. So there's one of the biggest growing channels in media at the moment is retail media networks. So retailers and e-commerce platforms have realized that the customers there, they're transacting, and brands want to engage the customer. So that's become a form of media as well. Right. Um, you've also talked about many other uh, opportunities. You talked about social commerce, social media, but there's also the growing focus on esports, which has found a real bedrock in the Asia Pacific millions of people, young Gen Zers and young and late millennials seem to be flocking to this and there is a definite opportunity to capture eyeballs and place your ads. But how exactly would you do that? And we, granularly speaking, how exactly would you identify the opportunities in esports, especially for advertising and marketing strategies? Well, we see esports as part of a larger gaming ecosystem. So you think of gaming like any other media opportunity. So there's the games themselves. So big games platforms like Roblox or Fortnite or or, um, Minecraft that are immersive experiences so there's the opportunity for advertising into some platforms it's hard because you have to be very careful not to break the gameplay patterns none of the players enjoy that part but the, the around the key games we've seen teams leagues and esports events immerse and so the brands association with those players leagues and, and events is very similar to the sports industry and then also around the gaming because it's a community there's a lot of media platforms whether it's twitch and discord or the social influences around gaming. This is a whole ecosystem. And so when a brand looks at engaging, particularly Gen Z and the younger consumers, but it's now quite broad, they look at how do they form that connected touch points. And so when we have a brand conversation, we say, how do you create experience across all of the gaming ecosystem? 